Get you. He's undead. Okay. Right, what have we got? We've got undead, undead, undead. And an orc. Hmm. My spider senses are tingling. Where shall my blood I'm spill? thinking mercs. I haven't done mercs in a long time. And I can make it work. We're gonna pretend to go fiends. Fool the enemies into thinking I'm going fiends. And then try to get some mercs for later on. And at the end of the day, the fiends can be like the backup in case the mercs super suck. And I wouldn't mind... Um, yeah, I would help. Yeah. You can always take that one. Don't really care, to be honest, who gets the expansions. Yes, master. Yes, master. Yes, so I could go ghouls, but ghouls are pretty rubbish against the creeps that guard this camp, so can't be doing with that. I need some fiend imbalance to help me get to the mercs in the first place. So we'll play it relatively straight up to begin with. And then it will take a twist and a turn. And the merc imbalance will become overpowering. The enemies will flee in terror as they will not be able to stand up to the power of mercs until they get tier 2 or 3. But up until that point, yeah, the mercs will give them a run for their money. Summoning is complete. Summoning complete. <laughs> Completed. Graveyard. Complete hit graveyard. What would you prefer as your voice? You're like narrator. <laughs> I think I'd have like a butch British guy. Or something like that. Summoning complete. Something like that, you know, like proper proper built bodybuilder or something like that, like a driver. Yeah, get right in there, son. Yeah, mate. Look at Pinky's at it right away. No brute getting battered. Down he goes. Oh, this is looking all too fiend friendly, this build. When will the mercs come? How quick can I do that camp? On top of the fact that I'm going to obviously clear an expansion and things like that. Because if I get an expansion, that's going to help a little bit. Yes, it will help a little bit. We're getting more mercs. So we want that. We do want the expansion. Come on, you. Get to work. Go! I'm on my way. This is the part where I get ganked. But pink's coming as well, so that'll help me. Okay, so we need to start pumping out Acolytes so I can tech even faster. Not that tech is particularly important here, because I'm going Mercs. Oh, he just ninja took that item, didn't he? He didn't even hang around there. Straight up took the item. Did you see that? It's like the quickest I've ever seen someone take an item. Go back and watch that. That's pretty funny. For you. Yep, we'll go. I'd say that he can do that himself, but the reason why I'd definitely come is, one, because he helped me, and two, because it's kind of likely that at this point, if he goes to creep, that he could end up getting ganked by one or two players, which is going to really mess him up. So if I'm here, it makes it a lot harder for that to happen. Couple more acolytes, please, if you will. I'll see if I can... Blade Master should really pick up the brute stuff. If it's agility, I'll let him have it, otherwise I'm going to take it, probably. Since he seems to be quite grabby. Yeah, it's agility, that's fine. Blade Master's taking a beating. Talisman of Asian, very good for Blade Master, so really he should take that. He gets everything! Let's go get myself some mercs, because I've got some money saved up. 
Yeah, we're ready to tech. We are ready to tech. Let's get the tech going. Let's get a Nerubian tower. Make it a bit more painful. <laughs> no love lost between the team. Red, shut up. Don't tell me what to do. Uh, I only really want the good creeps, though, to be honest. Because they're all expensive. I mean, look how expensive they are. So I want the good ones. It's going to make it a bit tricky, though. How am I going to have to leave like a skeleton behind or something? Oh, my goodness. I like that. Give me the mana. Yep, I'm leaving a skeleton behind. And I want to get Murgle. Well, I won't be able to buy that. I don't think the skeleton's going to last. But I'll have to send a ghoul or something at some point. I will do that. Send one ghoul up there. Send one ghoul down there. Because I very much want that. And I'd like to see whether I can maybe get a shredder. Not interested in this one, eh? Pink? No? I wish only to serve. Let's try and do all this macro stuff that I've got to do then. Don't know how I'm going to pull this off, to be honest. I'm going to have to try and get lucky. Oh, that's not too bad. I might lose the ghoul, but I'll definitely get the shredder. Which is really the main thing I'm after here. And now we can start spamming out coils! It'd be lovely to be level 3 though, so I can get some nice, strong coils to throw out. I should really go for the Farseer, actually, but I'm... Yeah, let's switch to the Farseer, but he's just going to run away. The Grunts are a bit easier kills. I've still got mana to throw out. Go heavy on that Farseer. Everything is dead. Everything is dead. Oh, they didn't creep that spot. Damn it. That means I'm going to have to go and creep that. I'll just head back. Don't mind me. Hey, I'm not going to make it, are you? Oh, you are. Am I going to get entangled again? Yes, I am. Entangle me, bro. Hey. Mercs are back into... Oh, my God. Look at my wood. Just as well, i got that shredder. Tough break. Right, I need to get an acolyte. Just to leave an acolyte down there. May as well start creeping up here for the moment. Got loads of resources. I really want to buy those mercs. I could probably get away with it, but I might lose a couple of things. Right. I can't really give woods. I suppose I can take up the frostworms as well, but I really want to get heavy on the mercs. Okay, let's try this. Let's try Suicidal Ghoul. How many units can you get from me? The two that count. Let's just tech up again and aim for like Frostworms or something. Meanwhile, get mercs and the likes. It's looking quite murky, to be honest. <laughs> there you go. You can enjoy yourself a crystal ball. I don't know if we can uh, I'll give you a hundred wood. It's about all I can afford for that. For See what's going on up here. I am the I am sworn to My patience is My life for Nezir. My patience has ended. Thy bidding, Master. You call. The summoning is Our bones are under attack. Now it's my turn to entangle. <laughs> oh, how good does that look? 
Oh, I'm not going to get that thing. Oh, yes, I did. Thank you very much. Thank you for the coil. My vengeance is yours. I need to get more mercs, though. I've got so much money. But we're putting the pressure on. Unfortunately, we're going to be attacking an area with wisps in it, so they could detonate a lot of this stuff. Oh, damn it, I didn't get to buy anything. Yep, there goes all my summons, you see that? The orange did put himself in a bit of a predicament. No! My shizzle! I'm not sure we're getting out of hand here. Will you stop going for my freaking lich? I can't coil it in time. Oh, bastard! Look at my gold. I'm going to have to get frostworms. This is ridiculous. Mercs. I just can't get enough mercs. Let's get back. Meet up in the middle. They've got quite a lot of expansions, actually. My patience has ended. I am in darkness. At last, you call. I am in darkness. My patience has ended. You call. Oh, you're going to gank me, bro? I don't think this is going to go well for me, to be honest. There. It's going to have to be mass. Good old mass frostworms. They're not really letting me get away with much here. It's not going to be one of those games where you can get the luxury of doing mass mercs. Get away with it, I think. Not very easily. It's not been very easy to do it. I'll still go for like the decent mercs, if I can get them, so I can have some entangles and stuff like that as well. But it won't be a full-on merc fest, because it's just not viable, to be honest with you. Hello. Well, that's lucky, isn't it? How's that for luck? See how hard it is to get these mercs going. It's clearly very, very difficult. It's just not meant to be. Super mega easy kill. Whew. Did the demon hunter just get tipped off there? What's going on up here? Are they okay? Kill please. No, that's not good. Are they okay up here? I'm going to TP up there anyway. I guess we should do that. And then we can fight them afterwards. Oh my goodness, look at pink. Look at that beasty pink army. There's a lot of shims in this game. A lot of shims. I mean, Frostworms are rock versus that anyway, but... It's kind of shame I didn't have Mescargs going. Can I get the Mercs back? Yes, I can. I bow to your will. My Let's do this. Ooh, blue's got his own cross ones, isn't he? There's a purple DK. But we all focus perps DK to totally take him out of the game before his allies arrive. Try hard, although they're kind of ignoring it now, but I understand why, so they can stop the gun from TP. Ah, fuck. Oh, 
Look at those frost worms go to fucking town. Just as I've just about managed to TP in time there. 34 HP or some shit like that. Frost worms. I mean, not frost worms. I mean, shims. Just absolutely raping the hell out of this. I don't know if they should stay there. I'm not sure this is a good fight for them or not, but I know it's not a good fight for me. I had no choice. Definitely had to get back there. Oh, one of them's leaving, so it must have gone well. Wow. I'm surprised. I can't TP to that. There's a lot of... Oh, he's TPing out. He's done his job. Sorry, Pink. They're TPing back. They might need to get back now. It's looking a bit sketchy, to be honest. Eek. So many shims. What the hell? I'm going to try and get in on this. Taking a big risk here. Just kind of hanging around. Is he sort of disconnected or something? <laughs> I don't know what that was. No better time than to expand again. They're still going for it because Frostworms basically tear apart shimmies. There's a few levels to go around. I think this is well and truly in the hands of the Frostworms. They never came up with enough Hippos. If they actually, one of them bothered to really go for the Hippos, they probably could have won this game. Well, maybe definitely not won this game, but they would have stood a lot more of a chance. But they got real shim greedy. Real shim greedy, that's the term for it. Very, very greedy on the shims. And that meant that they just didn't really have the anti-air that they needed. Just a little bit more anti-air. Could have really made a big difference here. Hey, what are you guys doing down there? Oh, that's right. You go up here. Who's left? Can't be many. A couple left. Yeah, one more to go. Frostworms just reign supreme. Absolutely. Pink did a very good job there. Frostworms for the other two guys pretty much carried through. I say, if one of them just went, you know what, guys, they got loads of undead. They're going to go Frostworms. I'm just going to go pure hippos here. Just so we have some decent anti air. And you can just focus on the shims. But they both went really heavy on shims, which was good for them at some points. But then clearly in the long run, it wasn't enough. Those shims got decimated because there's too many Frostworms running around with no threat to them, pretty much. Alright, thank you for watching. This has been Witty. Please subscribe, like, and comment. I'll see you later.